my mom to call me and give me some fucking money. And if you're terrorizing, terrorizing her in any fucking way and telling her she cannot, we're going to have a problem. Uh, what is my issue, dude? How did, Who let you in? That's my issue. For real. That's what I want to know. I was sitting right there, and he took my seat and everything. He's just your, he's, here's your guest. Have fun with your fucking selves, you fucking stupid fucks. I'm not going to fucking sit there and pay attention to some fucking people that don't fucking have common courtesy to be fucking humans. I don't give a fuck if she has a gun to her fucking head by the thigh or not. I do if it's my mom. I don't know who the fuck this fucking bitch is. He was fucking scared shitless I was going to do something to him for real, dude. Because he must have done something to deserve it. Something bad. Did she squeal or some shit like that, dude? Like, I don't understand it.
Yeah, I'm gonna um, go and find a water mat and stuff, and then try and get another day if that's okay here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was a laundry mat called uh, Red. The... Fifteen minutes that way or something. Someone told me. I think Rhino District is where. Rhino. Yeah. The art district is It's the <coughs> <coughs> I have Google Maps. I can also try and do what you're doing if it's hard to find it on there. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, do it. Oh, there isn't like just a normal laundromat where you can go throw them in a yeah, yeah, yeah. machine. Uh, um, the last guy was I was talking about. So he thought it was like south, this direction, and like uh, I don't know, it was a 15 minute walk or something like that. Revionics. Is 1530 Blake. Okay. Um, and then the other one that you were talking about as well. Because this one we used to go to is close. Oh, really? Go, yeah. So the altitude one is close. Okay. Uh, but they still have it up there with Google and shit. So. Okay, all right. So what was the first one? Revionics? Revionics. All right, thank you. Yeah. Dude, she says she knows she's in a fucking hostel. I'm like, you know, it's a hostel, right? She's like, yeah, I know it's a hostel. She knows she's terrorizing people. And then has the fucking goal to ask, say, well, what do you, she doesn't understand how she's terrorizing someone, like, in the sickest, most fucked up, demeaning, uh, nigger ass way. Like, I, re I would literally have a big, fat fucking black man cowering up for me. For something I would never want to make a cower over you, a cower for, and I'm not even tried to hit him or anything. It's really fucking weird, and I'm sure it has to do with gay sex. Honestly, there's no way he's scared otherwise. Any guy, pretty much, that's that big. You know what I mean? It could be fucking little kids, probably, and fucking their girls are. Then no one's gonna give a fuck. But you bring in the boys, then he's gonna be fucking scared or something like that. And since today's topic of the day happens to be Rob, who has a son, he's killing. He says, I'm killing it. For real. Like, because the picture of him, it looks like the kid doesn't want, I mean, it just looks like he kill it. You know what I mean? Sick shit, dude. But he's probably just really saying that. I mean, it's, it's kind of taking away the black soul. Fucking, to say he's not that fucking bad, really. I don't know if it's black soul or good soul or whatever the fuck it is, but it takes away a good a, a soul feeling. Oh, I just farted. I don't think it's a silent but deadly one. What's that?
I'm gonna teach this bitch ass to dig in your face. A toy of 649. Oh, God. I just farted again, again, again. Oh, no. This ice that I didn't even look at is like black ice. Slick as fuck. I hate you fucking niggers that have kept this temperature from rising. That would mean that only cops. The girls don't walk out. They don't want heat. They're scared as fucking shit of heat. I don't know what the fuck to say about what I'm scared of with it. Um, at one time, I sure as fuck wasn't scared of heat. I mean, I was saying what the fuck ever I was saying to get the cops to fucking do it. And they did nothing. So now, the cops know better than to fuck with me. but they Or they don't want it or whatever the fuck it is. I'd like to know which one of these guys... Tried to take the lunch. That's Tommy. Whether I should be stepping on ice. Like if it's cold and there's water on the ground. There's something around that's going to kill me. It's called ice. It's, it's fucking douchebags. Faggot fucking losers. That are doing ice. Fentanyl and shit like that. My father. And now he's got people coming towards me that are probably douchebags. That are fucking doing it. They make me actually run from them, actually for real, making real Iran, because if I have to fucking run from somebody, I swear to God, I will, for real, come at me, not to run from you, I'm calling the cops, and then we are going to have an Iran, because I believe you guys are fucking meth using fucking piece of shits, and it really does need to be fucking known and said, and you shouldn't be sleeping out here like that, and if they're too stupid to get you off the streets, that's why I'm killing cops. Obviously, people too stupid to put a fucking plate on their fucking vehicle or clean their back plates and all that fucking shit, too, because they're fucking dirty fucks. Piece of shit. Say, look at it. Know it. Don't give a fuck. They don't want to even know it. Mom's the same way. Don't even really want to think about her fucking plates. Probably. Like, when it comes down to it, why the fuck is if we can't keep that cold temperature from making that ice on the ground? What the fuck are we going to do? If you're not looking, that would kill you walking by it. I mean, they can clean it up. They could do things to melt it. There was a guy talking yesterday about a blowtorch. Just using common sense. It's like literally killing meth cooks and, and all that shit just by killing all this fucking ice. They leave it. They don't care. They won't clean up the streets. They won't clean up any of this. It's all garbage. Garbage. Throughout the whole entire thing, every every single business, if I go in there, I'll prove that it's garbage. They don't, they can't be wanting to build more into any of this stuff. If they are, they're retarded. <clears throat> Some stupid fuck asked as he started driving by. Me, me, though, when I said I'm going to kill all the people, because any of them could be coming at me and trap me into this, and there's no way I can get out. Like, I'm up against the fucking thing. So if they wanted to kill me, I'm, there's nothing I can do. I 86. What do you mean you 86? Why the fuck are you even out here in the fucking thing and not stop the fucking shit? 86, you fucking stupid piece of shit fucking car with no plate. You're a dead man in a gray car. There should be no one driving on the fucking streets. I mean, literally, if you're if you're that fucking, stupid, then get the fuck off. get it, die right now. I mean, I want to get a gun and start shooting at you. Like I need to. The the one guy that the that would have been uh, perfect to shoot. You all know, like anything similar. You've got a baby carriage and you're walking across the fucking street. I'm shooting you because you know you're in the wrong place. If you're going to affiliates, if you're the guy that had your fucking hair in a ponytail and wanted to shoot me the other day, just know I'm fucking coming for you. I'm going to kill you. Someone else wasn't going to give you the fucking opportunity to kill me. And... I probably do get off to people really wanting to kill me because, I'm, oh God, I would fucking, 
I get to kill someone, you know what I mean, every time. Because they've, they've given me, and I sh when I can show you in a certain way that they've literally said, I want to die. That's what happens. These people literally said that. They literally said, I want to die. With an N73, a lazy 73, I want to die. Mom better have put my money in my fucking account so I can get my cigarettes. She's playing fucking stupid ass games when I'm hungry, fucking thirsty, and there's stupid ass fucking fat fucking whore that's eating so much of my fucking food and water that literally, like, I don't know, this escape room. I don't know what the fuck to tell these people. They got themselves into it. The, the girls, at least someone that I wouldn't mind killing and bringing back to life real quick to give a hug and stuff. Say, you want to go and get my mom and be a, a driver? Or no, you can't do that. <clears throat> do I trust you? Who else am I going to bring with? Keep, make sure you're not going to fuck with my mom. You actually, how would I trust you? You just said you were torturing, you know, about the hostel. I don't think it's open yet, just yet. He just went in there. Eddie Murphy again. It's the guy that serves the food on the Amtrak. So the story is how they how they develop use several characters like a shapeshifter. It's very fucking weird shit. And uh, this guy that's saying that 28 or whatever all the way back home is basically saying, yeah, we're gonna kill your brother if I don't get to show you me fucking my son. 
or something like that. It's like, did show me because I'm not going to let you fucking go back there to do that or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, the only discovery that they'll have is that he says, I don't fuck him, whatever it is. And I don't really care. And it's like, you're being a real bad, weird creep to me. Like, literally, because I don't really care to ever hear about you having a kid. So we were doing cop things together before that. Real fucking G stuff. Yeah, I don't know how it's not going to become something where um, there isn't, like, a place to actually smoke weed and enjoy a joint and fucking um, relax with people, but I don't want guys out there for mine, so they have to have their own embassy somewhere, and it's outside of my zone, and they don't have to be in this one. Look how fucking gross and nasty it is. Last night, it got so bad, those two people that were walking up, I'm sure they're all telling me, yes, we'll give you a gun to shoot them for walking this way. Then you gotta wonder, how does anyone else get into the hostel? And it's gotta have because it's a hostile environment in the first place. People are brought there just to get tortured. My life be like, mm, uh, mm, my life be like, mm, uh, uh, mm. Five percent bullshit, dude. Come on. I've turned into this um uh, one of these street walking corner guys that are telling people in, in different circles these circles like I'm doing with your hands with your phone in your hand. If I can wait for someone to show up and say, hey man, you got a cigarette? Thanks, man. And you could get, you could probably, if you're a good worker at it, I'm sure you could probably get five or ten cigarettes just standing right by this door. Um, obviously, you must have to be really good at it. An enchanter or something to get, like, this guy himself, the, the one that runs it, is also a homeless guy that sits right up by the door and waits, and he knows that he's a homeless guy. So he's just as fucking hungry as everyone else. Now we've got this gyro place that's brand new that took over some other hot dog stand. That's a big corporate fucking piece of shit. Uh, was a big piece of shit connected to uh, right across the street, that big baseball diamond. Which now it's just a new piece of shit. Unless it gives everybody free food. Now open. And they do got good food. I mean, not that, not that bad, the fries. Um, they, they're a little bit cold or something, but I don't really know. I guess it's potatoes, so yeah, potatoes are really fucking cold things to feed people. Especially green ones. <coughs> Maybe that's not so cold. for this place to open up so I can get cigarettes. I didn't know if it was 9 o'clock or what, so I just been walking in circles waiting for you, sorry. I really don't need the damn things, but I gotta keep buying them until they're not on the shelves anymore, otherwise it's not fair. Okay, I'll get you. 
that's how I feel anyway about it. Um, that's how I have for a while. The Newport um, 100s, how much are those for the men's balls? Okay, I want to get one of those. 